Now that we have it blocked in, you see how you can play with these various shapes and smooth them out. But getting the raw, the previous video, you saw just how the holes were put in and then you just taper into those little patterns and there you've got that hair shape. Again, a strong overall shape. Looser on one side, this hair will do that. It will fall in a parabola. Small up here, large down here as it clumps and grows. Um, I reattached the head, blocking in the hands. Now it's important, when I, when I do things like this, it, rather than using just headlights, I like to use relational proportions. For instance, the hand from the hand from here to here, that's the width of, that's the length of the hand, the, the, the size of the face. And then the hand, probably from cheekbone to cheekbone here. So that's probably a bit small. So relational proportions work for me much better. Um, so, so we're well on our way to getting this completed, but keeping the hands blocked in, keeping them sculptured is more important than trying to find the detail. You want it to keep it sculptural the, the entire time. 